Good evening and a warm welcome to Empowering You for Victory. Moen and I send our fondest love and greetings to every one of you. Well, last night we began by sharing habits of success or anchoring yourself to success through developing habits that make you successful. Your thoughts create your feelings, your feelings create your actions, what you continually do as actions form habits and habits make up our characters. There are successful habits and there are unsuccessful habits. Successful habits will spiral you upwards. For nothing succeeds like success. Unsuccessful habits will spiral you downward. Nothing fails like failure. So both success and failure has the ability to feed for more success or failure to feed for more failure. And so it's imperative that we see and we understand. So the first habit is take responsibility for your life or take responsibility as your friend. This is a foundational habit for all habits. If you don't have this habit, the other habits that, we will sh that I will share with you in subsequent evenings will be on shaky ground. And so taking responsibility as your friend or taking responsibility for the outcome of your life is crucial to build your life upon. I want to read Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 and 20. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live, that thou mayst love the Lord thy God, and that thou mayst obey his voice, and that thou mayst cleave unto him, for he is thy life, and the length of thy days, that thou mayst dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give them, Praise God for His Word. Family, God has given us the power of choice or given us an independent will, meaning that we are creatures or creations of choice. For God says heaven and earth will stand against us and we don't have a choice to choose heaven. He says life and death. He sets that before us. And blessing and cursing. But he also encourages us to choose life. You see, because God created us as free moral agents with an independent will, we must be very clear that God will not override your choices. Otherwise, you and I would be like a robot or a switch that God can put on and off. Once you understand this, then you will understand why the world is in the state that it is in. God has given us the earth to be our home for us to rule and to dominate. However, if we make wrong choices, even God, because He gave us the ability to choose, will not override our choices. And so, friends, animals do not have independent will. They operate by instinct. And that's why animals have to be to be trained. B. 
because we have by nature independent will, it's our nature, then it means that we are proactive people. Being proactive means our behavior is a product of our decisions and not our conditions. Our conditions can come from our circumstances and people. And if you're reactive, that will affect your decisions. But because we have independent will, we can all also override genetic influences because your body does have genetic influences from your parents, and we do not doubt that. And you can override your scriptings, and also by overriding recreate scriptings, new scriptings, so your independent will, it's independent because you can make choices against your scriptings or above your scriptings. And you can make choices above your circumstances and above what people say and do to you. I'm not in any way suggesting that if people speak hurtful to you or people do hurtful things to you, that you won't feel hurt, that you won't feel like getting angry, or you won't feel rejected, or you won't feel uncomfortable. However, your independent will has the ability to rise above that and choose an appropriate response. You see, family, response ability, taking responsibility for your life, developing a habit of responsibility does mean I don't blame my scriptings. I do not blame my parenting and I do not blame anything that's happening outside and what people say and do to me. And I want to emphasize this, not meaning that it doesn't have an effect on me, but because God gave me a will, and where there's a will, there is a way. Make no mistake. When you develop the gifting of a will to rise up above your conditions and your conditioning, then you can choose, as God says, He sets heaven and earth as a record against us. Life and death, blessing and cursing. He says, choose life. You can choose your response. The word response, ability, means the ability to choose an appropriate response. What is an appropriate response? A, an appropriate response is a response that is true to your new self-nature because you are born again and you have the nature of God in your spirit. An appropriate response is a response that you choose that gets you what you want as far as your goals and dreams, your imagination. An appropriate response is a response that is true to your moral values. And when you make that decision, based on those truths, it will always be the best decision you can make in your situation. We've shared with you that you need to develop the pause button before you respond. If you're a reactive person, reactive people give the power of their life to their circumstances and their people and people 
and reactive people give the power of their lives to their scriptings. So in other words, they do not use choice. Now, when you give your life away to your scriptings internally or your circumstances externally, you've actually made a choice not to make a choice. When you do that, you will live your life by fate or by chance. But when you exercise your choices based on the other giftings, you live your life by plan and you live your life by faith. So God richly bless you. I want to pray for you that from today you will stop this blame game and you will take responsibility for your own life. When you stop the blame game, you will increase your circle of influence that even also though you choose successful responses, you will have a greater ability to influence people who are negative and to also re-script your scripting. God richly bless you, you proactive people, in Jesus' name. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you today for our online viewers. I thank you that you've created us with a nature that we can choose the outcome of our lives. Lord, we recognize that we cannot choose someone else's behavior. They are responsible for their own behavior. But we are responsible how we respond to somebody else's negative actions. In the name of Jesus, I empower your people with understanding. And Lord, they will override their scripting through the teachings and override their negative circumstances and the opposition of people. I give you the praise, the honor, and the glory now, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God richly bless you. I'll see you tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Bye-bye.